What's up guys? Welcome back to Muscle Brew. This is Marlon. I got into here with me. Hello guys. So right now we're going to go over uh, some updates, some more updates uh, leading to the, to the next competitions coming soon. Some of them are a lot closer than others. Uh, we got some of them, um, you know, going for the uh, Chicago Pro, Puerto Rico Pro, and uh, we're going to talk about some of these guys right now. We also have some uh, Russian bodybuilder and I want to talk about a little bit about Ronnie Coleman also. And uh, so for starters, we got Madel Mom. Madel Mom. And uh, so he's uh, he's going to compete in the Puerto Rico Pro. In a Spanish uh, uh, physique uh, competitor. One, one of the best coming from another, from Spain. And uh, he's, he's crazy, crazy good, man. I really like his physique. Yeah, this guy... This guy's got some really good muscle insertions. Uh, I believe his abs are are very, uh, very, very well yeah, developed. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I know I've seen some bodybuilders have some of the abs a little bit, uh, maybe not symmetrical. Do, do you think it's hard to find a symmetrical abs section, uh, uh, midsection, when it comes to the abs? Yeah, and uh, and I think like we've meant, like I mentioned in the past video, um, yeah, some of the really big bodybuilders have uh, that little gap in between the abs. But uh, I've noticed that, yeah, it, it is very hard to find some... Uh, Someone you know, with the genetics of having a lean or yeah, good... Uh, yeah, really, really six good pack, abs. Six better abs, ab muscles. So, I mean, this, this guy's legs, you just you got this guy uh, with veins popping everywhere in his quads. Uh, so, so this guy looks Condition on. is on point. Condition is on point. He also the, uploaded a video. Here's a here's a video, and we got him here on some goon light yeah. and uh, the the a vacuum. I know you're you're not a big fan of vacuums, but he looks good in the vacuum. Yeah, he, he executes that uh the he's a the, classic that pose poser correctly. He's a classic poser, and he works on his pose. You can tell the transitioning uh, from one pose to the other is uh, really artistic. Really, it's, it's a beautiful it's a beautiful sight, man. I like that pose right there where he uh puts oh, uh, one hand Frank on Sane the right hip, there, Frank yeah, Sane. and then uh. And then a bicep with the other hand. It's uh yeah, so so this guy looks he looks on, he looks uh, like he's he gonna be ready. uh yeah, he looks ready. He looks like he's uh, gonna do very well. Uh hopefully he cracks at uh, top five. I wouldn't be surprised if he does. So uh, yeah, so uh, so best luck to him. He's competing in five weeks in uh Portugal Pro. So now we have uh Lucas Quel Quel Quelho. Quelho? Quelho. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry Quelho. about he's that. He's Brazilian uh, bodybuilder, yes. It's really hard to pronounce uh, the names. But uh, this guy, I mean, this guy just has a lot of muscle packed on him. He's a freak, man. He's a freak. This guy's really a good. 212, correct? Yes, he's 212, uh, 212 division. Uh, he's going to compete well, in the Portugal Pro, actually. Also, uh, he's going to be at 212. And I'm actually impressed with this guy's physique. Uh, I mean, it's been a while, a few videos back that I've been wanting to talk about him. But uh, I keep forgetting about, uh, about this guy. Now, I remember him and I show it to you. And yeah. The guy's a freak, right? Yeah, this guy's got some amazing legs. Amazing, amazing features. Yes. Uh, the the compliment is uh, physique has a really tiny waist, uh, good shoulders, big, big uh, chest, and really good wheels. Yeah, that, that lat spread really looks great on him. He's got, a, he's got some good lower back and uh, overall width. So, yeah, yeah the, this guy looks very, very complete. This, this is a, an athlete that I think is going to do a lot of damage uh, competing and... I'm sure he's going to do well in the coming years. Yeah, yeah, I believe so too. So I'm going to talk about a, uh, a woman competitor now. Yes. For the first uh, time on an update. Sandra Grahalis. 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 <laughs> I, I keep, uh, yeah, Come I, on, I keep man. putting some emphasis on, on these names. So she's a Mexican uh, figure competitor. Uh, she's five weeks out from Chicago Pro. Uh, this is a, a picture from six weeks out. And uh, the reason I wanted to talk about her is that this is an amazing picture. Yeah, it's an impressive I mean, picture. Yeah, th th those arms and uh, sh she looks like she's very, very well conditioned. And I've, I've said it before, man. I, I don't know what's with uh, these women competitors that they always have some really good delts. They Caps. got some really, yeah, some cap delts. And <laughs> I mean, she, she looks good, right? She looks on. She looks like she's ready for stage. The figure with the the lat, with the with the back muscle looking really, it looks uh, it looks really good. It's, it's, uh, it's appealing to the eye. Uh, looking at, at this physique it looks amazing hopefully she does good she's been competing on the Olympia before she has competed on the Olympia before and she's going to compete for that qualification this year and we wish her the best more because uh, she's, uh, she's 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 from Mexico and we want uh, those type of uh, up, uh, 
athletes from over there to do good over here than the IUPB. Yeah, you have very well represented. So now we have Andre Musi. Yeah, Musi. He's an Italian bodybuilder. And he's uh, preparing for uh, Puerto Rico Pro. We already talked about him a few videos back, and he's looking even better, man. Yeah, that... that uh, Straight uh, legs, look at the quads. Those delts, man. Those delts, delts are just popping out. Popping this out. guy is in really, really good conditioning. He's got veins on the delts and on the chest. He looks grainy. Yeah, he, he looks or, grainy. Yeah, he looks grainy. It could probably be also the with the filter. But I'm pretty sure if that filter wasn't there, I mean, he would still look like that in this picture. I and really I mean, it, I guess it just emphasizes the yeah. details a little bit more. But as I mean, I mean just just look at those featherings on those. Yeah, quads. I feel he's gonna bring a really a grainy uh, condition to the stage, which I love. It's one of the best conditions I find. Uh, grainy, grainy uh, physique. I really, it's really appealing to my eye. And this guy has it all. So hopefully he does good on the Puerto Rico Pro. Yes. Uh, so now we got a good Vito, and uh, Vitali. Yes, uh, he. Um, so you know he's he a posted, Russian bodybuilder. Yeah, yeah. He, he posted this picture, and I mean, look at him. I mean, he's it's crazy. He's hu huge. He's a huge. And uh, he's got s so much muscle on his frame. He's twenty three years old. Yeah, he's twenty three. That's I mean, I, that, I that's wish, crazy. Uh, I could be like that when I was 23, 23 years old. You know? Yeah, like. And like you said, you mentioned uh, earlier when we were talking about the the him uh, that. Uh, Imagine uh, if we train, we were 12 years old, 13 years old, you know, actually having all that, uh, the hormones and all that that we talk about, maybe to, to help you grow even uh, better, to have a better physique as you get older. Yeah, I've, I've noticed that uh, a lot of bodybuilders and a lot of uh, pro athletes uh, started start training at a very young age. And uh, but I will mention that there has been some very successful, uh, you know, uh, uh, athletes that actually start lifting or bodybuilding in their later years and right. uh, they do very well yeah, yeah so you know it's it's i mean he, he's 23 right here i'm i that I, I remember i think rachel gaspari was uh was doing very well at that age at i think by the age of 24 he had already made a name for himself yeah he was i think he, he competed at 20 years old in olympia something like that no yeah yeah he was uh you know he was very young and he, he had already made a name for himself uh he was known for those uh striated glutes mm -hmm. and uh th he's that one condition. of the first that brought that condition yeah. to stage the striated glutes and uh, he also uh he's from russia he does not compete over here in the ibb over here he's uh he's an ibb pro elite and uh i think he sh he should switch and try to uh, compete over here why because you're as good as your competition yes you look good he looks amazing but how will you look next to the top tier from over here yeah, exactly. Because I mean, everyone looks good on their pictures, uh, you know, by themselves. But it's only when they're on stage next to these, you know, these uh, other bodybuilders. That's when all of the flaws. That's mm -hmm. when uh, the symmetry. Exactly. That's where the conditioning. That's where you know everything. Everything just comes out, and you can't hide it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying he's 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 not good. I'm, oh no, he's good. definitely not. He's good, but uh, yeah, like I, I repeat, my, uh, I don't want to repeat myself, but yeah, you, you're not as good as your competition. So I think. Uh, it'd be a good challenge for him to come over here and compete with the with the best of the best. So now we have uh, Ronnie Coleman, and I mean the reason why we're talking about this one is because uh, I know that uh, a lot of people were talking about this where he was sitting down and this is he, trending right now, right? Yeah, yeah, and uh, he looks like he's fat or out of shape. I, you know, that's what some other people were saying. Mm -hmm. uh, I would probably have to disagree. I mean. Uh, you know, it, it could be that it's just the angle, you know, I mean, when you, sitting who, down. yeah, like who doesn't has a, you know, some stomach popping out when they sit down. But I think he always looked like that. But yeah, he, he's been looking like this for, for years now yeah. anyways. So, um, I don't see how they say he looks fat. I don't see a reason for it. I think it's just cause he's sitting down or I don't know. I, he always had that, that, uh, stomach distension this whole years. I don't know what's the, what's the difference now. Yeah, but um, I I think uh earlier he's been uh you know he he's been actually training again. I mean, he, obviously, right? He's he's been training no matter you know how he's been feeling. He's but, been able to uh, yeah. train uh, pain free for yeah, a while he, now. He got uh, into some uh, some type of therapy. I'm not really sure, and things got better, and he's uh, um, uh pain, pain painless now, pain free, and he's able to train even harder or train without feeling pain. You know. Yeah. So, you know, we just wanted to talk a little bit about Ronnie Coleman because, uh, you know... Our we, thoughts. Yeah, this was our thoughts. It's not really I mean, look fat. It's just... I think it's normal. 
Yeah, and, and I mean, it's Ronnie Coleman, you know, of course, uh, we would want to, you know, give our two cents, you know, this guy's a legend. <laughs> he is, um, tell himself. So yeah, th- th- those were our, our take, you know, on on, uh, on the updates about uh, these uh, bodybuilders and athletes uh, getting ready for their competitions. So if you guys like the content, you know, like, subscribe, share, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Later, guys.